Hello, my friend. Today, I'm going to talk about something personal. I mean, all my other videos have been personal as well, but uh, this one kind of hits deep in the heart. Usually, I write a script for my videos, but a friend named Connor said, why don't you try going freestyle and see how it goes. So, no script. Here we go. It was a few years ago when I watched this uh, then kind of rising in fame psychologist uh, talk about a person who never leaves their home or gets a job and grows older. Here's the video clip. You can either choose your damn limitation or you can let it take you unaware when you're 30 or even worse when you're 40 and then that is not a happy day. And you see, I see people like this and I think it's more and more common in our culture because people can put off mat maturity without suffering an immediate penalty. But all that happens is the penalty accrues and then when it finally hits, it just wallops you because when you're 25, you can be an idiot. It's no problem. Even when you're out in a job search, it's like, well, you don't have any experience and you're kind of clueless. It's yeah, yeah, you're young, you know, it's no problem. We can, that's what young people are like, but they're full of potential. Okay, well now you're the same person at 30. It's like people aren't so thrilled about you at that point. It's like, what the hell have you been doing for the last 10 years? Well, I'm just as clueless as I was when I was 22. It's, yeah, but you're not 22. You're an old infant, right? And that's an ugly thing, an old infant. An old infant is an ugly thing. Well, back then when I was watching that video, I was about 27, 28 years old. And uh, now I am 30, turning 31 soon in a couple months. So I am that old infant. I don't have a job right now. I live, I moved back in with my mom. And yes, I do help out a disabled uh, family part time. But I'm an old infant, as you put it. Um, and that's an ugly thing. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is I'm actually comfortable the way I am and I don't want to change at this point. I mean, I'm very appreciative that I don't have to work right now or else I'd be starving or out of, you know, not being able to pay rent or something like that. So, um, I appreciate my life with my dog and my cat and they bring a lot of joy to me. I wouldn't, I, I actually wouldn't want to move out back into that tiny little apartment that I used to live in uh, because this house is so much nicer. I, as my dad said, um, having personal space is a luxury and he was talking about like housing space. I mean, I have spurts of motivation because my future self I mean, at 40, probably it's it's much uglier and I'm, I may regret not taking action, right? So I have spurts of motivation and I try, you know, doing something productive for about a day or two and then my motivation fizzles out and then I go back to my old habits of watching YouTube and lounging around the couch. I honestly don't know what to do because I feel like I should do something, yet at the same time, I try it for a little bit and then I keep regressing back and it's, it's this endless cycle. Here's one thing. My friend named Daniel said, in order to increase motivation, try asceticism. Try cutting off yourself from anything digital, your phone, uh, apps, YouTube, your TV, anything digital, right? And I tried that for like an hour and I thought, no, I, I'm not willing to do that. So I went back to watching YouTube on TV. Yeah, I'm in a rut. But it doesn't feel like a rut. It feels like I'm living the life. It feels like I'm living a heavenly life. So <laughs> I think that's the sad part, not the part that I'm an old infant. The part that I'm an old f infant and I'm fine with it right now. That's the sad part. So what do I, what do I think is going to happen? I think... At one point, the pain of not taking action will get bigger and bigger and it will become a consistent enough motivation for me to take action, maybe spend you know hours a day looking for a job, applying to a job that I may not like but just do for the sake of income. 
maybe I'll, you know, get my ass off and then. Uh, at least that's what I think will happen. I don't know. Maybe I will become that 40-year-old old infant. Yeah, that could be definitely an ugly thing. It probably will be a very ugly thing. But right now, I'm not willing to do anything about it. So that's my rant. I hope this is a stepping stone in my videos where I can look back and say, hey, remember that time where I didn't want to do anything and now look at where I am now. So hopefully this is a stepping stone to bettering my life, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like this will be my life for the time being, but we'll see. Time will tell, I guess. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and may you be free from suffering. Bye. According to the FBI, Entrican filmed videos on his cell phone narrating the action for his mother <laughs> with whom he lives. Nathan! Nathan! Nathan, what are you doing? You can't film yourself at a riot and send the videos to your mom. You save those stories for when she tucks you in at night. <laughs> but good news, Nathan, if they convict you, you're getting your own place. <laughs> Next up...